going on, everybody? DJ Go Ham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Five Stills, baby. Five Stills. Today we got 38 mods on the testing list. We got a new premium DLC blog, and we got 12 modders to talk about, including an update on Alma, Missouri, and a new tease for Straw Harvest. Let's check it out. Starting off with the mods and testing. Today we got 38 mods on the list. 33 of those are in stage one or PC testing, and five are in stage two or console testing. Some notable mods in PC testing include the Claus and Reno Aries 600. Cow Pasture with Milking Barn and American Falls. Also at PC testing, we have the Bucket Pack, Large Shed, and John Deere 6R Extra Large Frame. And rounding out your PC testing list today, we have the Big Bud S3 Large Frame still in testing, the MF2 still in testing, TLX X3 Series attachments still in testing, and the Ursus 1614. Jumping down to console mods, we've got a couple in testing, five of them in fact, and those are the Kroger PW024 Bell Auto Load Placeable Deco Pack, Bucks County PA, American Shed Pack, and the MAN TGX4 Special. With all that being said, we still have 214 mods in waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods is about 13 work days. Additionally, this is the largest waiting list that we've seen in a while, so expect mods to take a little bit longer for the next few weeks as we get through. Oh, and a quick heads up, there will be no new or updated mods released today on the Endgame Mod Hub, but with over 5,000 mods on there, I think we'll be good for a day or two. Today, we also got a new video and new blog showcasing new information on the premium app Zilonka, as well as some new features and production chains associated with that map. I've already done a full breakdown video, and you can find that link below. Jumping over to some modern news, we're going to start with Celobuki, who says that their map Alma, Missouri did fail testing. Again, this was on LOD objects. Uh, this was causing an issue on console testing, but it worked fine on PC. Uh, either way, everything has been fixed up, and the map is back for Giants for testing. Yeah. Next up, we hear from TNT Modding, who says that Lazy Acres did fail testing on a shading issue but has been fixed and is back with giants for testing bucks county of course as you saw us on the console list today and eureka farms is currently being fixed up and should be resubmitted later this week all right so this next one is super duper cool so mr hector has released another feature coming with carpathia countryside sheep milk sheep will now produce milk in addition to the manure that we talked about last week these features will be available for the crossplay version as well how cool is that and one thing, he's currently doing testing on the PC version to make sure that it works. Now, it works fine there. However, with the enhanced animal system on, I think he said it only works with goats, uh, but he's working on that. Uh, most PC players do use that mod, and I started using it over the weekend. Um, so just a heads up, it's looking promising on PC, but it's definitely coming to the console version. How cool is that? I know it's just milk, but... It Oh, from sheep. That's so cool. Something else that is super awesome is Creative Mesh. They dropped a new teaser showing off the Straw Harvest Pack with the grown big bag right here and the triple bell drop on the very back of that. The Straw Harvest Pack was first released to Farm Sim 17, then it came to Farm Sim 19 for all platforms. And this is the first tease that we've gotten from this in like three months, four months. Super excited to see this returning for Farm Sim 22. And I don't think it's going to be an official pack, probably just a mono mod hub. Today, we've also got another update to HR Force Klaus Zarian mod. However, uh, this is probably the last time we're going to talk about it because it's with Giants already. This is the D70 Heavy Duty Hitch. They call it something else, but I believe it was translation error. Uh, they've also added some new beacons on the roof as well. So not only do we have the strobes in the very front, but we got the beacons on the top. Again, it was resubmitted for testing yesterday for all platforms, so we should see an update to this soon. Some of you guys have reported issues with the Lizard Easy Scrape Yard Scraper uh, that was released yesterday on the Mod Hub from Ross and Mods, myself included. I was having some issues with this. Well, he has released a video you guys can see here showing how it works or how it's supposed to work and if it is not working this way for you he does say to please wait for an update um any deviation from a flat ground seems to be affecting it so looks like he's working on that speaking of videos rooster bonds released a video showcasing customization options and features of their john deere 712 mulch tiller things that we know well of course we have that warning equipment with the triangle we've got weights on there and we've also got different working widths i think it's 9 and 11 shanks on there which is pretty cool we also see the machine working in the field in his video so definitely make sure to check that out after you watch this for those of you guys that enjoy doing sugarcane servertex is bringing another mod to help you guys this is the tt 30 max and is from a line of sugarcane cultivators for soil fertilization which sounds a lot like corporate talk to me um does it cultivate does it fertilize does it seed sugarcane i don't know what it does but it looks cool, and that works for me right now, at least. 
How's about this one from Pascal Counts? They have a new mod with Giants already waiting testing. This is the Lizard Platform trailer. This version specifically, it's got a crane on the very back of it. Check that out. It can pick up big bags, pallets, things like that. Uh, it will be for all platforms. And Pascal says that the crane was quite tricky to make but it turned out awesome. Last week, we talked about the Pottinger Twist 7001 Minuar Spreaders from Wolf X Modding, and I think Black Sheep have their hand in this as well, but I can't confirm that. Uh, anyway, today we've got specs on it right above my head right here. Pricing is gonna start at $17,000. Only requires 20 horsepower, so that's kind of nice. Got a working width of eight meters, a capacity ranging from 7,000 to 10,000 liters. There'll also be color configurations, but at least right now, the only thing we've seen for that is wheel options. So if there's gonna be any colors for the main or anything like that, we will have to wait and see. Next up, AMG Agri has got a little bit more information about their trans cover, Agri cover, mod and how it well came about because we haven't heard from those in months well them in months this in like a week so the project has pushed them into developing new skills and animation and skinned meshes with the unique movements that are in the game the cover is installed on heavy modifier heavily modified and upgraded push body trailers perfect for silage See, looks really good. A lot of detail is going into this mod and it is currently pending testing already with Giants. I didn't even know it was done yet. The first version will be PC only, as you could probably imagine. However, he does hope to get this onto consoles as well. I think it's waiting on some licensing, so maybe that won't take too long. Fingers crossed. Uh, we'll also have different color options as well. I think he says there's gonna be 12 different ones, uh, which mimic different iconic British brands. And lastly today, let's talk about IJ Creative Design, who's also got some trailers for us. These are the AW Ultima Pack trailers. So we get to see the 16T today. Um, that's in addition to the 14T that we've already shown off. And they show their 18T as well, which is in a completely different area. Right here it is. So the 14 and the 16T are just kind of stretched out versions where the 18 is stretched and raised. So you've got that. Uh, he does say there's one more version coming with this pack. I don't think we get to see it today, but that's going to be the 14T root crop variant. And then the pack will be complete. Just like this video, it is complete right now as well. Just like every episode of Farm, some news links to everything we talked about today can be found in the description. And you can find this video in the form of a news article on farmsomenews.com, thanks to Yo's modding. Remember, there are no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mods get to be released. And if I didn't talk about something you want to know about, it simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything you need to know about going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like if you did. Get subscribed if you do. Join the GoHam fam. Make sure that notification bell's on as well. That way, you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. With said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace. So today was like a hybrid video. I wrote a script, but I just kind of looked at the words on it. I didn't read it out. Did it work?